Hello. Hello, wonderful people. I'm so happy to be with you. Today, we're going to do a very simple, simple but very effective practice in our little episode of Movement Medicine Morsels. And let's begin by setting the mood. We want to really let this practice be set apart in a very special way. We're attending without any distractions to our breath, our mind, our movement, and giving ourselves a little recharge of our batteries. So I ask you to come and sit tall wherever you are. We're going to review the basics, which are plant your feet, take a moment, feel your feet on the ground, look at your feet. Looking at a part of the body can really raise the connectivity. So look at the feet, feel them, feel the ground. Now come up into the hips and feel the same thing. You want to feel connection of the sit bones, really sinking into the seat. You can also look at your hips and you can rock a little bit from side to side. So we've planted our foundation. In times when everything is changing around us, it's important to find stability wherever we can. So finding stability through the body can really make a good effect on the nervous system. So we can stabilize our nervous system by stabilizing our body and our breath plays a part as well. So we've got our foundation. What else do we need? We also shrink. We get unstable when things are difficult. We also contract in. We try to brace ourselves. We try to protect ourselves. So we shrink, we constrict. So out of our foundation, we want to rise up through the crown of the head, just rising up. You can use your fingers to lightly lift the skull. And we want the sense that our spine is becoming long and fluid. And the crown of our head has a special channel connecting it to the stars, the sky, maybe even our own special soul star. And this also represents for us tapping into our highest self, having a beautiful posture and connecting to the big elements, the inspiration of that wonderful sky and the stability and nourishment of our wonderful earth. And now let's rest our hands on our low belly. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. Shoulders nice and relaxed. And we'll take three breaths to open up our breath while we stay in our vertical alignment. I invite you to inhale gently, deeply through your nose, feeling your belly, your chest expand, and then blow it out slowly. Let that exhale be as long as it naturally wants to be. And then inhale again through the nose, fill yourself up and exhale. Slowly, quietly empty yourself. You'll feel your belly slipping back towards your spine and we'll do one more feel your feet on the ground inhale breathe right into your belly and exhale let it all out take another two breaths with the in and out through the nose just gently feeling the breath we're settling the breath it really helps us to slow ourselves down take ourselves out of the rat race bring ourselves into that place beyond space and time where we're tapping into our inner resources. And here we've set the mood for our practice. I invite you now to bring this with you as you come and stand up and find a spot where you've got room and you can feel your feet, just refresh that connection into the ground refresh the drop in the tailbone, and let's lift our arms up to refresh the suspension. Interlacing the fingers, press the palms up, and we want to go for beautiful vertical alignment. If you're getting a stretch in your organs and abdomen and trunk, that's excellent. Open the elbows a little bit, look up a little bit, and imagine you're breathing in the sky. Filling the chest ah, and exhale, softly floating the hands down and remain tall. We're going to come into a little bit of shaking and cupping to loosen up any blockages in the body and essentially refresh ourselves and get the circulation going. 
So remember, I like to say that movement exists on a spectrum. So you may find that today's a day when you just want or need to go very micro, very gentle, very introspective. On the other end of that spectrum, you might have a day where, whoa, you've got a lot to get out and you just want to yell blah, and make silly sounds. And don't hold back. We don't want to keep stagnant or undigested energy inside because then it will eventually cause problems. But we want to release. So these are releasing techniques. And here we are. You want to jiggle everything. Imagine you're a beanbag. And you want to jiggle all those beans. Make sure you get the beans in the feet, in the knees, in the ankles. You can take your hands up if you want. You can take one hand down and one hand up. Anything that you do that's asymmetrical, I like to recommend do it at least a little bit on the other side too. Shake behind you. Shake your tail feathers. Shimmy a little bit. Who knows, you might end up with some funky new dance moves to take out when you're dancing in shelter <laughs> or maybe you're dancing at a safe distance from other people ah let that gently settle down and return to your vertical alignment feet on the ground crown connected to the sky connect to your breath hands on the belly to help you feel the breath going deep and just effortless ease, suspended from the sky, supported by the earth, and feel any tingling, feel any heart rate that may have gotten a little bit excited. And now we'll bend the knees without shrinking our height and begin a little bit of twisting. You can leave your feet flat on the ground. That'll give you a little extra um, work experience a little bit of extra sensation in the tendons around the sides of the lower legs but if you have knees that don't like that cranky knees i know my knees i have to take good care of them so i find that lifting the back heel gives me more freedom and less uh, discomfort in my knees actually takes all the discomfort away make sure you're not gripping your neck so you want the head to scan, scan the upper horizon. And maybe one hand gives you a little loving thump in front and the other hand behind. You might find that you can wrap your hands nicely around the waistline or belt line. This is going to stimulate our kidneys and they need a little boost. And also our adrenal glands that sit on top of the kidneys, they can get quite grippy, intense with anxiety, fear, discomfort, and these are times where there's a lot of unknown. So it's important to look after our inner state, our bodies, our inner state, our breath, our minds. Let this come to a natural ending. And once again, stand in your empowerment, feeling the earth below you, the sky above, hands on the belly, feel your breath. And we're going to do a little bit of cupping and tapping to get the circulation flowing even more into every part of our body. Standing nice and tall, slide the hands up to the breastbone and begin tapping with your fingertips, nice and easy, kindly knocking on the door. Can you come out and play? Or you can use the flats of your knuckles. If this is too intense and the, you know everybody's different, you might find that just a light pat or even holding your hands and connecting mentally and emotionally is enough. So something along that spectrum. And we always keep it mindful. Whatever we're doing, we want to be mindful. And we're listening with our bodies. So if something feels like it's too much or not enough, we are present in the moment and can change our approach to soften it if needed, to still it if needed, or to maybe invigorate it a little bit, but you're never wailing or banging on your body. That's a form of abuse. So now one hand on the hip and we're going to cut back and forth under the collarbone and breathe into the area. We're also bringing connection. We're bringing connection, circulation, and rest your hand for a moment and let the breath flow in. 
And now let's circle around the breast. This is important for men as well as women. A couple of times through the chest and breast tissue. And then drape the arm over the head so you can open up the armpit and the side of the rib cage. And then take a little moment with the hand resting at the fullness of the ribs and take a breath here. Ah, opening up channels of energy. Coming under the arm, relaxing the top arm. Coming under the forearm, into the wrist. Nice clear clapping sound. This clears the energy around us and in us. It's kind of like saging. If you sage or use incense or smoke to clear a space, clapping is one of the other traditional ways to clear a space and brighten energy. And now the backs of the fingernails and cupping. And you can use your eyes to amplify the connections. And over the shoulder, a little pat on the back. Good job. You can tell yourself good job especially important if no one else is telling you good job. And also we get to break up a little bit of tension or soften any tight muscles. Swing those arms a little bit. Take a moment, take a little break and move around a little bit and see how do you relate to the arm that's gotten all the tapping, the chest, the breast area that's had the tapping. Just see, it's subtle. You may have to go really quiet in order to notice or maybe you notice already. And let's bring that same shift to the other side. Rise to your full height, root to the ground. Ah, breathing in. Out with the old, making space for the new. Other hand goes on the hip. We cup the working hand and we cut back and forth over the lungs on the second side. And we take a, just a little pause to feel the hand resting and we drink our breath into this area of the chest. Mm. And then we're going to lean over a little bit and keep cupping. We're going around the breast area. And even if you have had a breast removed, we still believe that the energy signature of each part of the body is intact. And also we have the muscles and the organs. You're helping if there's scar tissue. So it only helps, it can't hurt. Other hand on top, so we open up the side body and we want to cup through the armpit area, the lymph nodes in the side of the chest wall. Ah. And we're going to rest our hand just gently so we can direct our flow of breath. <coughs> Excuse me, that <laughs> made me sneeze. It's important to let the body make the sounds it needs to. Luckily, we're safely distanced, so no mask, no problem. And we're going to come down the armpit. I guess I'm releasing. So any burps or gas or giggles or sneezes or coughs, yawns, we want to allow them out of the body when we're practicing. So this is a safe place, this is practice clear the energy. I know in a lot of social situations, we consider those things rude, but in terms of health, have those moments where you're in your own privacy or just be bold and do it anyways, if you're that kind of person. But of course, I would have covered my mouth. I'd be out with a mask. I don't want you to think that I'm blasé about these things. So coming up over the shoulder and then giving yourself a little pat on the back ah and then just swing that out a little bit see how that feels notice where there's tingling just play a little bit with your new body ah and we're going to now come up to the top of the head so rise through the crown of the head and really lift to connect to the sky and with your finger pads tap all over the scalp and skull this tapping also penetrates into the brain. So imagine yourself clearing any cobwebs in your mind, stimulating circulation in the two hemispheres of the brain, boosting your pituitary gland, your hypothalamus, your pineal gland, and coming right in behind the ears. Let's come into the temple area. 
lightly at the temples. I'm going to take my glasses off because we'll do a little bit with the eyes. So at the temple area, yawning, because uh, these muscles are connected with the jaw. And then at the outer corner of the eyes, we're going to lightly tap the eye socket bone coming up between the eyebrows and tapping out over the eyebrows. This is nice done very delicately because the flesh here is very sensitive. And now let's come under the cheekbones. When you follow the contour of the cheekbone, you want to pat upwards. And we're coming up the sides of the nose, beside the nostrils, back up to the bridge of the nose, and coming back down again, fluffing out and up, lifting the cheeks. Let this inspire you to smile. Smile with your whole body. Smile with your organs. Mm. And then tapping one hand between the upper lip and the nose. Go back and forth above the upper lip. Other hand between the chin and the lower lip. And then follow just outside that contour. And yawn a little bit and tap the jaw, the chewing muscles. Whoa, drooling and sticking out your tongue are allowed here. And then lifting the chin and a little bit more flattening of the hands. We're going to go up and down the throat from the breastbone, up and down the throat. Ah, breathing. Let there be more space in the throat. Coming up the sides of the neck. When you come to the ear, make a peace sign and tap one finger in front of the ear, one behind. And then fingers over the shoulders and coming up the back of the neck. When you get to the base of the skull, tap up and tap across back and forth, tapping up to create that space and up and down a couple of times. We're going to shake that out, shake that out, shake that out. And if you took your glasses off like me, I invite you to put them back on. Now cupping over the chest, standing tall, make any sound you like, melodious, non-melodious. Oh. And now cupping the breast chest area just briefly on our way to the organs at the base of the ribs cup in front come around the sides turn your hands over if that's easier for you to get around the back area then come down a little bit towards the navel go gently if there's tenderness here come around the waist into the kidney area with the inner fists Ah, oh, let the breath flow. You can make a sound or let out a big exhale every once in a while and come down to the sacrum. And here you can bend and straighten your knees and just get a good shimmy happening. Shake a tail feather, shake the flesh on your thighs, get everything moving, loosening up. And then coming around to the lower belly, you might want to get more gentlest, gentler here, losing my words this morning. And then stretching the groins a little bit in front so that you're cupping and stimulating the lymph nodes. And we spend a lot of time in flexion anyways, so it's very refreshing for the back and for the hips to open up here. Coming around the back again, we're going to come down the outsides and backs of the legs. Come as far as you can. If you can't go any further than this, you keep cupping and you pretend you have energy hands that go down. If you can reach, go as far as you can reach, but never strain. Get in there behind the ankles, sides of the feet, come over the tops of the feet and use this to ground your feet even more. And then come up the inner arches, either energetically or with the hands reaching there. Come behind the ankles and come up the insides of the legs. You can do the pelvic floor a little bit. And then starting to slow down, slow down and bring the feet a little closer together and finish resting one hand folded over the other you can hook your thumbs together here and just find that connection to the earth below the sky above so you're on that beautiful perpendicular and let yourself feel let yourself feel the echoes of what of the sensations in your body Without judging, without trying to explain anything, simply use your sense organs of feeling to notice where 
things are tingling, how your breath is flowing. And this placement of the hands we're also using to encourage our breathing. Let yourself settle. Really, this is breathing time to connect with the breath, see what's opened up, feel what's opened up, and stay connected to our big elemental resources of the big sky and the big earth. And now we're going to soothe the energy. We've shaken a lot of things up. We've dislodged some stagnant little bits. So this is like the conditioner in the hair taking the knots out or stroking, smoothing, gentle massage. I invite you to come up the right side of your abdomen as you inhale and then circle the hands lovingly down the left side. We're inhaling up the right slowly. This is the slow part. We've loosened everything up and now we want to smooth it out and we want to help things move into their channels of elimination so the body can naturally release through sweat, through urine, through bowel movements, through maybe an emotional release, whatever it is. Sometimes you might even get slightly unpleasant things like headaches as things are releasing, but know that they're temporary. It means that things are balancing themselves in your body. And then we're going to let the hands relax and float your left hand out and inhale the right hand guides energy from the low belly and the earth up to the heart. As you exhale, turn a little bit to the left and clear the energy along the arm and off the fingers into the distance. Turn the bottom hand up and inhale, bring fresh, sparkling, healing energy, however you want to imagine it, to the heart and exhale over the shoulder, down the arm, we're releasing and it's gone. And inhale, we have room for fresh energy to come in. Let's hold the hands at a moment for the heart and breathe in some love. And we're going to spread this love into the arms once again, floating the left hand out and taking an inhalation, filling with that love. Exhale, spread the love cream through the arm, clearing out and refreshing. And inhale, bring in more inspiration and more love. Feed that into the cells of your being. Get some more from the heart. And exhale, guide the energy, clear out. Make space, bring in more inspiration and love coming to the heart. And we're going to step the right foot out to the right and bend the knee. I'm gonna move over a little bit so you see more contrast. So we're sitting back and the butt sticks out a little bit. We wanna be comfortable here. Take the hands over to the left-hand side, one behind and one in front. Take an inhale here and exhale, guide and clear and smooth the energy. Slough it off, give it to the earth. If you can press your foot down for stability, do that. Inhale, gathering fresh healing energy up the inner channel of the leg and bring it all the way up to the heart. And bend the left knee, start to twist. Exhale from the heart, using that juicy energy. Clear the energy, press down on the foot for a little extra stability. Inhale, bring the energy up to the heart, and we'll do that one more time. Exhale, guide the energy, the heart energy, clearing, flowing, press the foot for stability if you like that. Inhale, bring the nourishment of the earth all the way up, carry it right to the heart. Exhale, bend the left knee, clear the energy, use the love of the heart to guide, Press the foot a little bit for stability. Inhale, come all the way up to the heart and bring the feet a little closer together. We'll finish with showering chi, joining the chi of the earth, the sky, our breath, and our beautiful vertical alignment. And the hands will start with prayer position, taking a moment to feel gratitude for the blessings in our lives and maybe reflecting that the COVID time and the sheltering at home may have brought some unexpected blessings as well as some tears. And know that nothing is without 
joy, they're two sides of the same coin, joy and sorrow, accepting all of them and keeping ourselves heartened by remembering the beautiful things we can be grateful for. On the exhalation, pointing the fingers down to the earth and bending the knees a little bit. On the inhale, let the light of the earth expand through your legs and between your hands and you reach out and you take your full shape and height. Exhale, softening. Palms turn up, elbows lower, knees bend. Inhale, energy from the earth, pouring up through the legs, reaching to the sky, big ball of light. And exhale, filter this healing light all the way down through all the parts of your body. You can do this in one exhale, or you can take your time and simply keep breathing. Notice as you're sifting through the energy field, maybe there are places that feel heavy, maybe there are places that feel light. And that's one of the things we wanna do. So we'll do this one more time. And this little sequence brings things to balance, to awareness and balance. Exhale to the earth. Inhale, let the earth spread between your hands and rise up through your legs. Exhale, soften the knees, soften the elbows. Inhale, the earth energy comes up through you and we're embracing the sky. Nice round eyes, take an, uh, round arms, take an extra breath here, really breathe in the sky. And now exhale, the hands are sensitive, sensitive instruments. And notice if there's a place where there's a bit of a blockage, you'll feel that there are places where the hands just fall. And there might be a place where you feel could be buzzing, could be a thickness. Maybe you want to stay another moment to send a little extra TLC. So we'll just take that little extra time. Maybe the heart needs a bit more softening or the lungs, or maybe there's a part of your body that you have a little bit of trouble with and you're working on healing. Maybe it's the digestion. You want to spend just another moment letting the light in the hands and the love in your mind and heart be transmitted from the hands into the body, giving it support. And then just clearing, and we clear all the way out through the legs, out into the earth, and swish that energy. And gathering all of the chi, fold the hands, rest them over the low belly, come to your full height. You're welcome to bring your feet a little closer, or maybe you're perfect where you are. Feel, once again, your connection to the sky above the earth below, to your deep, smooth, steady breathing. And know that you have all the resources you need at your fingertips to face whatever comes your way with as much grace and creative energy as anyone could possibly have. I wish you a beautiful day. If this is a Friday for you, I wish you a lovely weekend. And please join again on Monday morning if you're able or watch the replays. If you have any questions or if there are topics that you'd like to have me cover, I really love hearing from you and finding out ways that I can help you breathe, move, smile, and be the best that you can possibly be. And until I see you again or hear from you, much love and may you enjoy vertical alignment and smooth, lovely breathing. See you next time. Blessings.